Hey guys, it's Erin and welcome back to another one of my monthly tips and Q&A videos. Today I'm talking about getting started in college and what's this kind of like what you do once you've been accepted? Not necessarily like, sorry, your first day at school yet, but like what to kind of do to get started in your college process after applications, after you've been accepted, and kind of what to do after that. Before I start guys, I want to say sorry that there's been a kind of a gap in like my video for like a week. Um, it's because I have finals coming up and I'm really stressed out. So I put this one out um, and there'll be one out after finals as well once I'm all done with that. What you do after you get accepted to college is a mystery to a lot of people. But luckily we're in the 21st century where we have Facebook. Pretty simple answer, right? Somewhat. <laughs> First thing to do guys is to go and see if there's any Facebook groups for your college for your year. So make sure you're not getting like 2017 when you're going to be the class 2018 because then you're not with the right people. Some schools will only have one group and it's the, the official one created by the university or by someone from the university. Um, however, there are some schools like my school, New Zealand University, where we are on the higher end of making Facebook groups. There are a ton. We have two Facebook groups. We have an official one and an unofficial one. We have a committed page, we have a girls page, a boys page, and pages for people all across the country in like different like sections of the US. So it's pretty intense. A lot of notifications. It's all you're gonna get. Facebook groups are also a great way to organize meetups for your state or for your surrounding town area and also for finding a roommate. It's more popular right now with the girls of my knowledge and the guys, um, but I've hopefully, hopefully, we still meet in person first, found my roommate already, which I'm really excited about. Meeting your roommate on Facebook is actually really, really nice, and so doing random, if you're concerned about not connecting with your, your, your random roommate you get selected with, um, the Elon girls page all put down like 25 questions to answer, and we all answer them about sleep routines, study habits, partying, and things like that. And we all answer them so we get to know what our roommates are really going to be like if we decide to pick that person. And you usually meet more friends as well if you're not going to be roommates with them. Just people who are really, really similar to you as well. Next, guys, on top of the Facebook pages and the groups to join is to find out through your, um, most likely will be on your, your website for your university, is finding out orientations or any other um, uh, rising student um, activities. There are different kinds, guys, to look for. Things like staying with a current student there and actually being able to kind of live a life for a bit day. And a big thing to look for is when your orientation is. Our school actually had two orientations. I'm going to one in April, so I'm really excited about that, guys. I will be filming while I'm there. Don't not worry. Um, but yeah, so you find out what your orientations are. And another advantage that comes with being in the Facebook groups is you know people before you go to orientation, and that way you can meet up while you're there. You can meet up and go out to dinner or lunch before orientation starts, and it's a great way to um, meet people as well during orientation and make sure you're going to the right school. If you're definitely going to that school, guys, it seems this is completely different than everything else I've been talking about, but get the gear for that school. Like, get a sweatshirt, get a sweatpants, a t-shirt, a hat, or whatever else you want to do. It's a great way to show your, your spirit for your school, and if you're really enthusiastic about that, it's great. Uh, our, my school, Ely University, we are super spirited. Um, everyone's posting all the gear they've already gotten and things like that, um, and so it's, it's been great. And it's a great way to connect with people is like, and to show your support for your school and that you're going there and walk around your, your high school as a senior with a college sweatshirt on. It's a great way to just kind of get in the spirit of, I'm going to college next year or whatever else and just like it's it's a good feeling just having all that gear ready. Another big thing to do guys if you haven't already picked a major or a minor that you want to do is if you've been accepted and you know you want to go to that school, you just don't know exactly what you want to do yet, is start figuring that out. Even if you're going to be undecided for a little while into your freshman year, if you start thinking about that as soon as you can, it's a good way to go in and if you know you want to consider doing a certain major, then when you go in, you don't decide it right away. You can start looking at the classes you're taking that are similar to that major and seeing if you like that or not. Um, and it's a good way to experience that. Uh, if there's also a way for you to get into a class before you actually go to the school. Um, my roommate took a class during orientation when she went a couple weeks ago. And she, she didn't like what she was doing in that major, so she actually has to change her major now. So it's a good way to take that class first, take a class in that major, take a class in something else, and see if you really are going to like what they are doing. If not, then maybe it's time to think of something else. It's big and unfortunately very, very difficult and grueling thing to do once you've gotten in is applying to scholarships. Unfortunately, 
In the US, we are not handed money for school, and it's very expensive, and it takes years to pay off in the end. And if you do not get any money from the school, like me so far, I apply something else and see if I get something from that, but they only have so many merit scholarships that they give out based on grades and things like that. If you do not get one, you need to be able to pay off um, and get debts and loans, but those are expensive, so you need to find scholarships as well. Check with your guidance office and see if they have any uh, school-based scholarships or community-based scholarships that you can apply for and get a couple thousand dollars towards your tuition because it's very, very important to get as much money as you can for college seeing as you're paying it off for 10 years or 15 years after you go to school. Something else to start doing, guys, is if you are going to a school in a different state that has a very different climate from you, like if you're going to California or Florida up north or north down south, is making sure you do appro appropriate, appropriate wardrobe for that state. Um, beginning of April is when I'll be doing um, an Easter lookbook, Easter DIY stuff, and so that will be coming up very shortly, and I'm very excited for it all. So be sure to click subscribe so you can see more and get updates of when that shebanging stuff is coming out. Alright, so thanks guys, thanks for watching, love you all, bye, loveys. The lighting keeps changing because the sun's going in and out of clouds because we have clouds right now, yay! But it's making my lighting all weird because I'm using my mom's big window for natural lighting. And I have lighting going on in the room but it really isn't helping much. Appreciate it. Appreciate? Appreciative? Rep representation, 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 representative? Representative, that's what. <laughs> representative rep so the rep I can't speak today what okay something in my window I don't know what that was can I just say how excited I am that spring is coming up here in north we still are getting snow next week but I'm wearing capris right now and I'm quite happy about that because I've been freezing my butt off for the past month because I changed out my closet too early. Yeah. It's so cold here. It's like a problem. It hit 50 like 2 this week and we were all really excited. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Oh, so happy about that. But yeah. That's my announcement. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. This is my remote, guys. Like my remote, it's very pretty and simple. So we have a button. Whoa! I have had too much coffee today. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Bye. Bye.